San Antonio police are sharing new video of a suspect they believe was involved in an aggravated assault near the medical center. The shooting happened June 25th at the Easy Wash off the 4100 block of Gardendale. They are asking for the public's help to identify the man. Ken's Five reporter Vanessa Croy joins us live with more on the case. Vanessa. Well, Deborah, video from the crime scene that night shows the violence that happened in that parking lot. Over 20 bullet casings left behind in the aftermath of that shooting and a victim left fighting for his life in the hospital. And that new video shows the moments leading up to the shooting and the man that police believe is the shooter. Take a good look at this video. San Antonio police say this man shot multiple rounds in this parking lot. And just moments before the shooting, surveillance video shows the suspect as he walks inside the Easy Wash. It appears he may be looking for someone inside. Parked right outside those doors, you can see the car that victim was sitting in moments before he was shot in the head. Police say it happened around 2.30 a.m. on Saturday, June 25th. Original crime scene video shows the violence that happened here. Over 20 rounds fired, bullet casings littering the parking lot. And at least eight shots fired into the victim's car. Police say the 42-year-old man was shot in the head and taken to the hospital with serious injuries. And tonight, police say this man could be the shooter. Investigators say the suspect was also seen with the driver and passenger of another red car in the parking lot that night. It's still unclear if the victim was just an innocent bystander caught in the middle of the crossfire or somehow connected to the man in this video who is still on the run from police tonight. Now, Deborah, we reached out to San Antonio PD to see how that 42 year old man who was shot in the head is doing tonight. They could only tell us that he survived his injuries. Now, if you recognize that suspect or the other men in that video, call Crime Stoppers. They're offering up to $5,000 for information that leads to an arrest in this case. Tips can remain anonymous. Reporting live downtown at SAPD headquarters, Vanessa Croy, Kens 5.